Bonjour à toutes et à tous. Welcome to this quick information video about the A-level French course we offer here in our sixth form. My name's Miss Madden. I'm the subject leader for French at our school. We follow the AQA course here and the purpose of this quick video is to just take you through some of the content which you can expect to cover and also some of the destinations where an A-level in French might take you beyond the two years that you'll spend with us. The aims of an A-level in French then can be split into two broad groups. The first group of aims is really describing the ability and the ease with which you can produce spoken and written French yourself. And the second group of aims focuses on how easy you find it to comprehend French that you read and hear. Alongside those aims which we refer to as productive and receptive aims. There's also a cultural focus to this course and that's to deepen your understanding and appreciation of the huge diverse range of countries where French is spoken. Smartphone c'est vraiment une drogue euh, quand on passe une soirée avec ses potes comme ça. Les partis politiques rassemblent des personnes qui partagent les mêmes opinions sur la façon de diriger un pays. En France, il y a deux grandes forces politiques, la gauche et la droite. En cagoulé, vêtus de noir, ils sont environ 300, jets de pierre, de bouteilles. Rapidement, la manifestation dégénère. In that short video clip you just saw, there were a glimpse of some of the topic areas which you will study in the first year. For example, you saw a little bit about smartphone use amongst young people. You also saw a little bit about isolation amongst the elderly and you saw an example of early French cinema. Those are some of the areas which you'll study in year one. There are two teachers who will be responsible for delivering the course. And there are six topic areas which are shared out amongst those two teachers. Those topic areas are family, cyber society, volunteering, then heritage, music and cinema. In addition to those topics, you will study a film in the first year. And there will also be a focus on grammar, vocabulary and personal study. And that's because we want you to become more and more independent and confident as language learners. The exam board publishes a list of films which we can, we can use or choose to study. We like to show students the trailers for the different films towards the start of the year and then we go with the most popular choice. In the past, the choices have tended to be between the following three films. There's La Haine, which is about life in the impoverished suburbs in Paris and the relationships between the young people living there and the police. Au revoir les enfants, which is about a Catholic boarding school during World War II, which was hiding Jewish pupils. And Un long dimanche de fiançailles, which is about the quest of a French girl to find her fiancé who had been away fighting in the trenches in World War I and hadn't returned home. These are the topics which we study in the second year, in year 13. Again, some of them you saw in the short video just before. For example, you saw a little clip of striking and demonstrating, and you also saw an information clip about the left and right wing of politics. Just like in year one, there are six topics to study, and these are shared out between two teachers. So with the first teacher, you'll look at diversity, marginalization or those on the fringes of French society and criminality. With the second teacher you'll look at politics, strikes and demonstrations and immigration. Instead of a film you'll study a book in the second year and you'll also undertake something which is called an individual research project 
where you choose an area of, of French history or politics or society or culture which has interested you and you research it in more depth, which will then be up for discussion as part of the speaking exam. Just like in year 12, there will be a strong focus on grammar, vocabulary and personal study because we want you to soak up as much language as you can during your time with us. Just like with the film in the first year, in the second year, there is a choice of books that we can study. Very often in the past, students have opted to study this book, which is called Un Sac de Bille. It's an autobiographical novel about a young 10 year old boy who was forced to flee his home with his brother during World War Two because they were Jewish living in Paris and it was no longer safe for them to live under German occupation. When you come to the sixth form, you will have on your timetable periods of independent study and you can use this time to obviously complete any homework and assignments that you've got. But we also expect you in French to undertake some independent personal study that you have chosen. We provide you with a list of useful resources for this. So if you want to focus on the news on one particular week, you can do that. If you want to focus on grammar on another week, that's fine. If you want to do some listening on another week, that's fine as well. It's really up to you, the area on which you choose to focus on a given week. We also have a Twitter page where we post lots of interesting articles and clips, which are all related to the topic areas that you're studying as well. To supplement what you learn in class, we do follow a textbook. This will be available to you both as a hard copy and you'll have a login for the electronic copy. And it's really quite useful because there are interactive exercises you can do. There are listening clips, there are videos, there are skills practice sheets for you to download. So it's really good as an, an extra resource uh, above and beyond what we give you in lesson time as well. The French A level is 100% examination and the examination takes place at the end of the second year. There are three papers to sit. Paper one is worth 50% of the overall grade and that's really like the comprehension paper. It's listening, reading and translation and you can expect to have questions based on all of the topics from the two years. Paper two is the written paper. It's worth 20% of the overall grade. You'll be writing two essays in French. One of the essays will be on the film that you've studied and the other essay will be on the book that you've studied. You'll get a choice of questions so you can choose the one that you prefer. And finally, paper three is the speaking paper. It's worth 30% of the overall grade. One of your teachers in school will be conducting that with you. It's split into two parts. So the first part is a stimulus card, usually a photo and some text. That will be about one of the topic areas that you've studied. There'll be a very quick discussion about that. That lasts for five to six minutes. And the second part of that paper is the individual research project where you present to us that area of history or politics or society which you've been studying and researching. And we have a discussion, question and answer about that to find out what some of the controversies and the issues were that you were able to delve into. One of the really nice things I think about an A-level in French is the extra opportunities which are available. In the past, we've taken students on trips to home cinema in Manchester, which shows foreign language films. We've done workshops run by Roots into Languages that give you a glimpse into what it's like to study French at university level. There's opportunity for pen pals in France. And then, of course, depending on whether it's possible on any particular year, there's always the potential to go and visit France as well. So we really try to do everything we can to make the language come to life for you in the two years with us. Thinking beyond your two years at the sixth form with us, French is one of those A-levels which does not close any doors to you. It's a skill for life. I've met some of my very best friends through being able to speak French. Sadly enough, I wouldn't have been able to get to know them had I not been able to speak French. But also in terms of your career, you'll be surprised with the combinations that are available if you study French. 
Of course, you can study French in a pure sense at university, but you can combine it with any of the sciences. It can be combined with business. We've had students in the past go to the best universities in the country for French and they've combined it with um, law or French law. The possibilities are absolutely endless. On this final slide, just have a look at these images, which give you an idea of some of the destinations that an A-level or a degree in French could take you to in the future. These destinations are both financial and geographical. So first of all, on the graph, you can see the accumulated language bonuses there for someone who can speak French or German are above average. So there's a financial incentive for studying French. And then there's a geographical incentive as well. On the map, all of the countries which are shaded in blue or circled in blue speak French as one of their official languages. So you can see there in a very visual way that French can literally take you to the four corners of the globe. You never know where you might end up. And that's a really exciting prospect. I just want to wish you all the very best of luck for the rest of year 11. Bon courage. Please let me know if you have any more questions. My email is hmadden at haslingdenhigh.com and I hope to see a few of you in year 12.